Greetings everyone, Master Grogan here. Hope you're having a fantastic day. So, the title of this video is actually exactly what we've got on our sign outside right now, is we rise by lifting others. Think about that for a second. I mean, in this world, you know, and I, I've heard this, uh, it was a great book I read, The Magic of Thinking Big, and it said, unfortunately, most people in life tune into a radio station called WIIFM, WIFM. What's that radio station? What's in it for me? <laughs> Often think about only what's in it for me. Now I get it, you gotta take care of yourself. Matter of fact, one of my mentors, uh, or a couple of my mentors, Hanchi Dave Kovar, and then another one, Chris Widener, is always reminding me, look man, you gotta take better care of yourself. Now I, I take care of myself, I exercise properly, usually eat properly, and this and that. They meant I need to have some shutdown time myself to make sure I'm at my very best. So I gotta make sure my best in order to help out others. But unfortunately, I've been plenty guilty as too, only thinking of myself in the past, tuning in that radio station with them. What's in it for me? Well, times like right now, you know, we got a crisis going on here, folks. I mean, it, that's, that's no news to anyone. Now, I will tell you this, I think the media is blown away out of proportion. Yes, we need to be aware. Yes, we need to remember to wash our hands. Yes, we need to remember to keep our hands out of our mouth. I had a five-year-old uh, set of class remind the adults of that. It was kind of cool because I said, what is a good habit? And he said, washing your hands and not putting your hands in your mouth. I'm like, yeah, good job. A five-year-old, go on the news media and tell everybody. So anyway, we do have a crisis on our hands. And right now, a lot of people are panicking. And that's, you know, the news media thrives on that nonsense. So you can help yourself by not watching that garbage and tune it in if you really want statistics, go to the CDC website and find out what's really going on, not listening to the media. But anyway, a lot of people are going kind of wacky here, going out and buying 12 months worth of toilet paper and buying out all the paper towels and cleaning supplies. Now there's nothing wrong with being precautious and being, uh, you know, taking care, make sure you got adequate things for your needs and your family and your life. But there's another thing with kind of trying to bogart everything and then going online and trying to sell it. Come on, you're better than that. Of course, the people that probably need to hear that message aren't listening to this video. So I'll let you pass that on to them. But back to the title, we rise by lifting others. You think about that for a minute. What makes you feel better than anything else? Matter of fact, you know what the most selfish thing on the planet is? What is it? Type it in. Being kind, being nice, giving to others. Think about it, when you give somebody a gift, yes, they're excited, they're thankful, they're grateful, but who feels better about that? You do. You rise, you feel great because you've helped somebody else. You know, one of my mentors today had, did a video and he talked about, you know, when I'm, in need, uh, when I'm in need, I know you're gonna help me out by giving me a dollar. When you're in need, you know I'm gonna help you out by giving you a dollar. It's just helping each other. And then also on a bigger uh, spectrum there, I'm sharing these thoughts and ideas because my mentors have shared them with me. Now I'm sharing them with you and I want you to share them with somebody else. So here's the deal. My mentor shares an idea with me. I share it back with him, another one with him. Now we've got two ideas. Now I share his ideas with you. He shares my ideas with his friends. Now think about what we're doing here. We're collectively rising everyone. You know, there's an old saying, the high tide raises all boats. It really, really does. And the low tide, ah, let's not get caught up in that. Let's rise each other. Let's battle through, let's overcome, let's succeed. Now, can we do that? Can each of us make a difference? Well, that's not really a brain buster. <laughs> yes, we can. What, a little bit? adds up to a little bit more, adds up to a little bit more, which adds up to a lot of bit, right? Journey of a thousand miles, what's it start with, folks? One small step. Let's all start taking that small step and think about how we can help out others. Now, small businesses, and yes, I'm a small business. What I did today for like four hours, I filmed online curriculum. So our students can work out at home to stay on top of things, to stay engaged, to stay caught up with the progression so when we get back in here, they can test for the next tip stripe and earn their next belt. And of course, we're gonna still have our standards high, they're gonna have to work out, but it's helping the parents out at home, giving the kids something to do to keep them active, right? And continue us to preach our messages. So what can we do? Well, to support small business, especially our restaurant friends, you know what? A lot of them having curbside service, do that or buy gift cards for the future. Little bitty things that kind of help them continue moving along, moving forward. Other things we can do. Maybe our neighbor's out of toilet paper. You know what? If we've got extra, give them a roll or two. The little bitty things, right? It's not the biggest thing in the world, but those little bitty things add up. Here's another thing you can do. 
maybe even wanting to give that five-star review on Google or Facebook for a, a restaurant or a martial arts academy or some place that you really, really love and you haven't had a chance to do it because you're so busy, well, maybe you got some time now. Take that time and sit down and give that review. Maybe you haven't had time to finish a project that you've started. You got a little extra time right now? Do those things. I see some friends popping up. It's hard for me to always see, but you pop on there, please say hi. I'll give you, there's Mike, and Coach Larry and Jay. That look at me, I'm making out with a screen here. You guys went up close and personal, there you go. Vicky's on the screen there. So anyway, the little bitty things add up to a lot. So if, if you're home with your kids, I've seen stuff on Facebook and they're home, there it is. Love you, brother. I really, really do. Now, folks, that's uh, it's my buddy Mike Sondergarten there. It, Dueling Pianos here in Edwardsville. You get a chance to go see that. Holy shnikes. Check that baby out. And, of course, he's the lead singer at our church they go to, his Metro Church. And I couldn't think of a better place to be to praise the Lord and uh, wash up and get closer to God and the family and everything else. So, And that's another way to rise up others, right? You get in a place like-minded uh, like people, iron sharpens iron. Yeah, baby. I think that's in Proverbs or something, isn't it? So anyway, uh, Heather's saying, hey, hey, what's up, Heather? Good stuff. But uh, anyway, working collectively together. Yeah, we're all going through some tough times right now, and this is pretty gosh darn scary. Love you too, brother. Thank you. This is pretty scary, but it doesn't mean we need to lose our minds, and it doesn't mean we need to turn against each other and turn into savages. Let's help one another out here. And a video I filmed last night was all about your character. Your character is revealed in how you treat people, especially how you treat people in times like we're going through right now. Yeah, come on, you're better than that. Right now people are saying some stuff and doing some stuff. I mean, I, I, I'm not a saint by any means. I'm a born again Christian, I was baptized two years ago, so I do everything I can to make the right choices, but I often still goof up. But all I know is, <laughs> if at a time right now, if I say things I shouldn't say or do things I shouldn't do or react, knee-jerk reaction, which I admit, I've said a few things here in the past few weeks that I probably shouldn't have said. I didn't post all of them, thank goodness. But you post those things out there, that's what people are going to remember about you. Have them remember things that are uplifting, that you made an impact in their life. You made a positive impact in their life. And I was just talking about a buddy Mike there who goes and does these dueling pianos. I'm getting goosebumps thinking about it. My gosh, his voice is beautiful and his engagement with the crowd. People leave there just feeling good. And I bring that up because that's his gift. That's his gift that he shares with the world, okay? I, I'd like to talk. You know, my second grade teacher, Richie, talks too much. It was on my report cards. I feel this is my gift, is engagement and talking and just being, I don't know, a happy-go-lucky guy. Doesn't mean I don't have my problems. I fight my demons and my battles, but that's my gift to share in this. You've got your gift, whatever that may be, and it could be just smiling, making somebody feel better about themselves. All those little bitty things. But once again, collectively, iron sharpens iron. Surround yourself with like-minded people and then lift up others because you're the one that's going to benefit the most from that. So right now especially, people could use, you know, they don't want to hear more gloom and doom. The news media, which personally I think is the devil's workshop, is infiltrating all our minds, turning some people completely wacky. Some people didn't need, had to go very far to get there, but <laughs> I shouldn't say that. But it's true. But let's, let's, let's do our little our best here. So like I said, look, simple little things. Reach out to a neighbor. You know, if they're out of something and you've got it, help them out. Restaurants right now are, are really, really hurting. Cater their business with they're doing the curbside service or buy some gift cards just to kind of help them along because think they've got employees and those employees need the work as well. They need to, uh, um, to be able to feed their families. If you've been wanting to give that five-star review on Google or Facebook for a restaurant, or like I said, your favorite martial arts academy, right now is the best time to do it. Reach out to your parents. Reach out to your loved ones. Spend that time with your kids. Because here's the thing. Yeah, our kids may drive us nuts from time to time. But, and I hear a lot of people say that. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I, I truly can't spend enough time with my kids. I mean, my daughter's going to be 17. My son's going to be 20. And uh, they're getting old. Makes me feel, I know I'm not getting old, but it makes me feel old. And uh, my youngest little buddy, Emmett's 11 now, and uh, I, I just want to be with him as much as I can. And I regret the time when they were younger that I was so focused on growing and building the business, I can't get that time back. So right now is an opportunity. Yeah, it's not the best of circumstances, but I'm going to take advantage and spend time with him when I, when I can, and I'm going to encourage you to do the, the, the same. So anyway, I got a little sidetracked, as I always do, but... Uh, 
Thank you so very much for taking time out of your busy day to watch this video. If you found value in this and you know that others could find value in it, please share it with them. But I want you to do this for me. If you would, please, if I can humbly request this, think about one way that you could, you could do something to rise up somebody else. You know, we rise by lifting others. Think of a way that you can lift others. And in the process, you're going to rise up greater and higher than you ever dreamed of. And maybe share that on this, this video here. Uh, j just an idea, maybe something that I, I've forgotten or didn't cover, or maybe I did cover, but it needs reemphasized. Share that so others can see it, and then also you're spreading your love and joy with the world as well, especially in this time right now. All right, folks, that's all I got for you. As always, you know, follow along on uh, the social media channels here on my podcast, uh, episode number 202 of the Bullyproof and Kicking Life podcast with Master Grogan aired today. Thank you, brother. See those comments popping up. Thank you, Mike. Love you, man. Um, check that baby out and uh, promote that once again. Everything I'm trying to do here is uh, it is all about just reminding us because I've made poor choices. We've all done that, but I just know I feel the best when I'm helping lift up others, and I know you'll feel the you'll, you'll feel the same there. There we go. I'm getting a little tongue tied. I love you. God loves you. Please share that love with the world. And until we talk again, you get out there and do your best. Rise, lift others, baby. And I promise you'll be your very best. God bless you. God bless your loved ones. Can't wait to read your comments. Can't wait to chat with you again real soon. Have a blessed day, everybody. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.